If your users will be uploading files to your bubble app, you may have encountered that using the default file uploader, even the multi drop zone in bubble is quite limited. So what if you want a better uploader experience? Well, look no further than better uploader. I'm just gonna give a, a quick opinion on uh, how the better uploader by Jonah expands upon what you can do in bubble uh, and also just make you aware of some of the limitations and considerations to be aware of when working with files in bubble. So if I go uh, through to the demo here, there's a nice demo page, it's well documented. We love that from plugin developers. Um, the first difference is that I've dropped a uh, an image file and it hasn't uploaded it straight to the bubble app storage. If you're using bubbles own file uploaders, as soon as the user drops a file in there, even if they don't progress to any further step in your form, then that file is part of your bubble app storage. It's going part towards the uh, quota you get for the amount of files that you can store. Remember, anything that's uploaded gets counted towards that. Every time you upload an image, even if it's just your logo, it's going towards the uh, app storage quota for your app. So first benefit here is the ability to preview what has been uploaded before it is uploaded any further. Another benefit is that you can rename the file before it is uploaded to the cloud. So let's dive in uh, to how exactly you can use this. This is not going to be a comprehensive demo. It's simply going to show you what this plugin is capable of. Uh, so if I go in and I find the uh, file upload element, uh, you can see here that we can restrict the size. We can enable file uploads, placeholder, limit file type. So these are all things that are expanding upon features you might not get elsewhere. Uh, maximum number of files, there's performance mode, there's a folder mode. Uh, then uh, down here, um, the demo is showing that you can list through the file data that is coming out. So once you drop a file in, uh, then um, you can view, like I say, you can preview the output or you, know, you can preview what's been, um, the files that have been dropped in before the user uploads them, you can rename them. And then by clicking a button, you run an action, which is to upload uh, to, um, to the bubble app storage, upload to the cloud, and uh, the ability to attach it to a thing. So a final thing I'll add with uh, file management in bubble is be really careful. I the files that you're uploading secure? This should be tested. This should be part of your privacy rules. Because if a file is uploaded to the bubble without it being marked as private, without it being linked in with privacy rules, then it's just obfuscated, which means that if someone shares the link to the location of that file, or they were to guess it, or it were to be in any of the code that makes up the pages in your bubble app, then that file is not secure. It's basically public, but it's public on a sort of, but sort of not unguessable address. Whereas if you attach it, if you mark it as private, it means that only the person or the people who those privacy rules apply to will be able to access that file. And if they, someone tried to say open that in a private browsing tab without being logged in, they would be greeted with a server error because they aren't authenticated into accessing that file. So quick uh, view, if you wanna um, find out more about this, you can just go into plugins, you can go to uh, uploader, uh, it's there. Check out the documentation. That's the first thing I do. Uh, check out the demo. Make sure it is fit for purpose with what you're trying to do, but it really does expand upon what you can uh, do with file uploading in Bubble. And if you have more Bubble questions, if you're wanting to accelerate the process in building your Bubble app, then the quickest way, the best way to do that is head over to our website. There's a link down in the, the description because we now have an AI tool trained on all of our uh, course content, all of our tutorials. So you ask it a question, you'll get an answer, you'll get recommended videos, save you hours and hours of searching on YouTube, we hope. So head over to our website. The link is down in the description.